Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, we'll serve up a hearty helping of ways to lead a heart-healthy lifestyle. Then, you plan for your pension, but not for its plummet impossible payments, will raise the risks of this new reality. Which fabulous film will earn the Academy Award? We'll preview the possibilities. Plus, we'll unearth the personal and financial benefits of pre-planning your funeral. And an important update just for you. It's time to get geoing, so pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for Golden Opportunities. Does this sound familiar? Eat this because it's good for your heart. And then almost the next day it's, no wait, it's bad for your heart. So what should we believe? Well, believe me, cardiologist Dr. Catherine Follick is the one to ask, and she's here to serve up several of the biggest questions about cooking to avoid a coronary. Dr. Follick is with the Heart and Vascular Center at Metro Health. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. Great, so let's start with the way many people start their days with a cup of coffee. Is that Java Jolt good or not so good for us? Well, you know, my kids think that it's my biggest vice, and it's always been one of my greatest pleasures. And uh, actually, science is on our side right now. Really? And uh, it's recently been shown to uh, perhaps prevent diabetes, mm. and in women to prevent a stroke, in uh, both genders to prevent a stroke. I mean, to, I'm sorry, to prevent uh, a heart, abnormal heart rhythm. Oh, great. And uh, also there are questions about cancer. So is it the caffeine in the coffee or is it something else that is beneficial? That's a good question. Um, for diabetes, it looks like both decaf coffee and caffeinated coffee really? prevent it. So um, they're postulating right now that it may be the antioxidants. Wow, great, great. Now let yeah. me mention one more thing yeah. because that's been around for a long time that coffee may prevent depression. Hmm. Is there a certain number of cups or is it... Uh, is it whatever we want to drink? Uh, well, actually, for depression, it's more than four cups a day. Okay. So that's, that's a big, uh, big amount. But for others of the uh, illnesses, it's just one or two cups a day. All right. Let's move to trans fats. Give us the skinny on trans fats. So trans fats is a product that was invented by humans in 1912. And actually, the first person who invented it was a Nobel laureate. And uh, perhaps in retrospect, he perhaps shouldn't have been a Nobel laureate. But actually, I think it helped <laughs> us make it through World War II. What, what are trans fats in these days? Margarine, which okay. is why in World War II, when butter wasn't available, people could cook. Um, and uh, also in a lot, all our processed foods, Twinkies, which don't exist anymore. <laughs> right. Is trans fat, that's bad for us. We should avoid trans fats. No percent of trans fat is good for you. Okay, and we can see that on the packaging. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to salt, because, uh, you know, I'm a big, you know, put salt on everything, makes it taste better. Bad for us? Unfortunately so. Uh, Unfortunately so. All amounts, you all need, circumstances? You need 1,500 milligrams. I've had one or two patients who pass out because they don't eat any salt. But for most of us, we get it in our foods, and the salt shaker should just be thrown out. So the popcorn that I get at the movies has the trans fats and the salt, and not good for me. Right. As far as the salt's concerned, that's probably all the salt for the day. Okay. Um, the studies that come out, uh, you know, we see in the news all the time, should we listen to those? Should we forget those? Just talk to our doc? What, what do we do? Well, a lot of them are population studies. You can't really randomize people to drink coffee or not to drink coffee because some people like coffee, some people don't. So it's possible that when we're looking at people who drink coffee, we're actually looking at healthier people. This kind of information is so important, and I'm going to tell people in just one second where they can get more. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. You're very welcome. That. So my thanks to Dr. Follick for dishing out heart-healthy advice. Do you need more help to have a healthy heart? A Metro Health specialist will present Living a Heart-Healthy Lifestyle Tuesday, February 19th at 7 p.m. at the North Olmsted branch of the Cuyahoga County Public Library. To register or to get more information, call 440-777-6211 or visit 
www.cuyahogalibrary.org. This is a great, great event. Good information. Go. We'll be right back. For more information, call Metro Health at 216-778-7800 or visit www.metrohealth.org/heart. Next, pension payment sticker shock. <laughs> 